So this young fighter making the walk here tonight, and he's a very entertaining fighter. He's very adept at staying in the pocket while avoiding significant damage coming back. Certainly, he's made a career of frustrating opponents, stays relaxed in there, leans on the defense, and uses that defensive movement to set up his own offense. You'll see him move that head off the center line, counter beautifully, really more of a counter striker offensively. But his defense will wow you, even when the opposition feels like they have him in range, more often than not, they miss and land less than 25% of their significant strike attempts. inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Herb Dean, third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Well, Houston, Texas has been a huge market for the UFC of late. And no surprise, we are back and now underway here from Toyota Center in the h town That punch, no good. Oh, he's wobbled now. So he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. If you're the top fighter in this situation, what are you trying to do offensively? I'm trying to force some sort of action from my opponent. You want him to turn to his knees to either give you the guillotine choke or allow you to try to chase the back. It's a tough position to control in, but there are options for finishes and are options for positional advancements if you're patient. Nice body shot. Jeff snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Kick lands. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Great block there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Well, the accuracy will land right there. His opponent's wobble check. Big right hand. Both of them are landing massive shots. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, perfect timing on the Superman punch. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. And this is a great fight. These guys are just letting it all hang out. All right, so we'll see what's... Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. Oh, nice headlock. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. They're pretty tight to me. 
He needs to shove the knees. Get his opponent's knee off of his belly so he can get to his feet. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. Second round, straight ahead. All right, that's the end of the round. You see the cut on his forehead sustained in that round. The cut man has 60 seconds now to close it up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here moving forward. All right, back to the stools between rounds, and I guess nothing a little Botox can't fix, but let us show you the replay and ultimately the strike that caused that significant damage to his forehead. I mean, his forehead. You, you don't see it very often, but even when BJ Penn kick Diego Sanchez, the damage and the blood that flies off the head whenever you get a head kick to the head, Ready to it's, it's very difficult Ready. to deal with or get a cut on the forehead. He's got to change. Oh, that's the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Well, this is crazy that this fight is still going on. An appreciative crowd obviously getting behind both fighters. Both guys just brawling like crazy in that previous round. They both came with a night. Oh, he's hurt bad. Big right hand. Just missed this left hand. Oh! Big left hand there inside. Oh, nice right hand. Combinations here. Right there. Trying to stay in this fight. Nice block. Back to his feet. What a right hand. You got this Just misses with that one. Another strike there, DC, and no surprise, the swelling only getting worse. It's getting worse. You know, we talked about this very early, how we needed to change something. He hasn't changed it, and now the swelling is starting to get bad. Ninety seconds to go. He's hurt bad. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. So what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Assassin. Well, there he is, the man of the hour. And you got to think this dude's going to get a serious Instagram push tonight after the win by TK. Oh, he's going to get a massive push because he hurt his opponent and he pressed his foot down in the gas until he got that finish. That was amazing.